Lake Ontario might be the smallest of the Great Lakes, but the fishing here is just as iconic as it is in any of its larger neighboring counterparts. And even though it's technically the smallest of them, it still covers a heck of a lot of territory. So planning a trip here can get a bit overwhelming if you don't know where to start. That's why today we'll go over everything you need to know before you start planning your Lake Ontario fishing trip. We'll show you clips of some of our anglers' most recent catches, tell you where the top spots are, and the most effective ways to explore this amazing lake. But before you do, be sure to like and subscribe to learn more about some of the hottest fishing spots around the world. The reason why fishing on Lake Ontario is so prolific has everything to do with its geographical location. Because it's the easternmost of the Great Lakes, all the water from its neighboring giants flows right through the lake before emptying out into the Atlantic Ocean. As a result, Lake Ontario supports a wide range of biodiversity, making it a true paradise for freshwater anglers. If you're looking to take home keeperfish, look no further than salmon. There are several varieties that live in these waters, but Chinook are the kings of this territory. They put up an incredible fight and taste absolutely delicious. They're only available throughout specific times of the year, so it's important to know exactly when to plan your trip. Chinook start to congregate along the western edges of the lake in spring. As temperatures rise, they move into deeper and colder waters. They'll stay here until around late August or September before heading out into the tributaries to spawn. This is when the fish are most aggressive and eager to attack your line. The technique you choose will depend mostly on the time of year. In the summertime, when the fish are in deeper water, you should try trolling. Once the salmon move into the surrounding rivers and streams, you can continue trolling or even try drift fishing, fly fishing, or spinning. Later in the season, keep an eye out for coho and less often, Atlantic salmon. However, salmon aren't the only fish you can catch here. Another top target species in Lake Ontario are trout. There are a few types that inhabit these waters, including lake, brown, and steelhead. Brown and lake trout take center stage in the springtime. If brown trout is on the menu, head to the lake's shorelines or the mouths of the tributaries. They prefer warmer waters, and a simple spinning or trolling setup is usually enough to get you on some fish. On the other hand, steelhead fishing mainly takes place in Lake Ontario's tributaries. They are migratory fish, so it's important to know exactly where and when to go fishing for them. Other than salmon and trout, you can also catch a hefty amount of walleye here. Walleye fishing on Lake Ontario is great during the colder months, which make them an excellent ice fishing target and they aren't the only fish who prefer colder waters. There are also plenty of northern pike distributed throughout the rivers and lakes of upstate New York and Ontario. Now that you know what to catch, be sure to keep watching to find out some of the best fishing spots on Lake Ontario. Fishing on a huge lake such as Ontario comes with lots of benefits, one of them being that there are so many great areas to cast a line from. Whether you're fishing the US or the Canada side, you'll have plenty of options available to you. For example, New York's Chamon Bay, located along the northeastern portion of the lake, it's also a great place if you plan on going ice fishing because the waters here are relatively shallow and thus freeze over pretty quickly. Moving southbound, Oswego County's got some pretty solid standout locations, including tributaries that feed the lake throughout the entire year. One of them being the Salmon River, a great spot to get your hands on Chinook and Steelhead. It runs through the town of Pulaski, which is known as the salmon fishing capital of New York, and for good reason. If you're heading out from the central part of New York's shoreline, the waters in and around Rochester are especially prolific. Connecting waters like the Genesee River and Irondequoit Bay offer excellent opportunities to catch a wide range of species including bass, walleye, and pike. You'll also find plenty of charters ready to take you out to deeper parts of the lake where you can catch trophy salmon and trout. And you definitely shouldn't rule out the Canada side either. The Bay of Quinney has some of the best year-round walleye fishing on Lake Ontario. Pike, bass, and big perch are also on the cards. This bay offers great ice fishing opportunities in the winter too. And if you want to fish with Toronto's beautiful skyline as your backdrop, you're in luck. The greater Toronto area is filled with super accessible and productive spots. Cast a line in Mississauga's Port Credit, Ashbridge's Bay, or Oakville, and you can hook into brown trout, bass, pike, and even salmon. Now that you know where and when to go fishing, as well as what you can catch while you're out there, it's time to check out the best ways to go fishing on Lake Ontario. Many people think of winter as a time to hunker down and put the rods away until spring. Not around these parts though. Whether you're on the US or Canada side, ice fishing on Lake Ontario is top notch. Ice anglers come from far and wide to hook into the likes of northern pike, walleye, and perch. 
Shimon Bay, Guffin Bay, and the Bay of Quinney are a few places that offer great ice fishing on Lake Ontario. Just remember, ice fishing conditions can change overnight. Always make sure the ice is safe before drilling, dress warmly, and bring a cell phone or radio with you. That being said, keep in mind the lake is very deep and therefore it rarely fully freezes over. Stick to the shorelines and slackwater bays where the water is shallower and the ice is thick enough to fish safely. However, if you're looking to fill up the freezer and hit multiple spots, look no further than charter fishing. On a charter boat, you'll have the freedom to move around and change spots quickly in pursuit of your targets. You'll also have a local captain on hand who most likely fishes the lake year round and possesses serious knowledge of the waters. If you're unfamiliar with the area, this is a huge benefit. To find a Lake Ontario fishing charter, just download the Fishing Booker app or visit us online to browse the best deals in the area. More often than not, your gear and bait will be included in the price of the trip. All you have to worry about is purchasing a fishing license, which we will cover in just a moment. First things first, you'll need to buy either a New York State or Ontario fishing license, depending on which side of the border you fish on. In New York, anyone over the age of 16 must purchase one, while in Ontario, anglers between the ages of 18 and 65 are required to have one. However, in Canada, you'll need to buy an outdoors card first, unless you opt for a single day fishing license. For more information on either New York or Ontario fishing licenses, check out the links in the description below. And when you're finally ready to hit the water, Fishing Booker is here to help make planning your Lake Ontario fishing trip a breeze. You can find a trip that's perfect for you and your family by downloading our app from Google Play or the App Store, or by simply visiting fishingbooker.com. With hundreds of local guides, verified reviews, and hassle-free online booking, you'll save time and money and experience an exciting day on the water. So go ahead and download our app or visit us online to start planning your adventure today.